ASABE 10th Historic Landmark commemorates Old Red, the first functional spindle-type cotton picker. Cotton harvest was a season of long hours of stooping, back-breaking drudgery until the invention and introduction of the spindle-type cotton picker. In 1850, S.S. Rembert and Jebediah Prescott of Memphis, Tennessee were awarded the first of hundreds of patents for cotton picking devices. Experimental concepts included vacuum, threshing, electrical and spindle harvesting. In 1924, International Harvester purchased the Price Campbell cotton machinery. Their main focus was to develop a selective spindle picker for crops that matured over several weeks. Experiments with numerous designs resulted in a short, tapered, moistened spindle and a lugged doffer to remove the cotton from the spindle. The 1929 stock market crash and Great Depression resulted in the price of cotton falling to five cents per pound, thus limiting further developments. IH's plan to build 20 machines for the 1930 crop were canceled. Yet development and testing were continued, and the basic design of the spindle picking unit was established. Introduction of the H and M Farmall tractors led to testing of a reverse operating H Farmall high clearance tractor mounted picker in 1940. Success was achieved with incorporating tapered moistened spindles, rubber doffers, and air conveyance concepts. A total of 24 pickers were produced for the 1941 and 1942 seasons. In 1942, IH President Fowler McCormick declared, We are certain that it is a commercial machine. Our picker has been tested exhaustively, and we know it will pick cotton profitably. Drying and cleaning machinery for cotton gins was developed in anticipation of the mechanical cotton pickers. In 1943, Hobson Plantation showed estimated harvest cost at $7.50 per bale, compared to $10 per bale for hand pickers. An additional 15 and 40 pickers were built on the Model M Farmall tractor for 1943 and 44. This alleviated the power deficiency that had hampered the development of the spindle picker during the previous three decades. In 1970, Old Red, the 25th and final picker of 1943, was restored to near original condition and donated by Producers Cotton Oil of California to the Smithsonian Institute. In 1978, Old Red was designated an ASAE Historic Landmark, celebrating the benchmark of the introduction of the first successful spindle-type cotton picker and the accomplishment of one of the most difficult agricultural mechanization projects spanning 90 years, hampered by two world wars and the greatest economic depression in modern times. Today's cotton pickers still utilize the concepts introduced in the 1943 production pickers.